You're watching Good Day Columbus on Fox 28. Okay, so many of us have tried shooting a bow and arrow, but can you shoot an arrow through a thing of aspirin? That is the question. <laughs> this guy, Kenneth, is Frank Addington Jr., professional archer. And Frank, tell us, first of all, a little bit about your background. How'd you get involved with archery? Well, you know, I, I was born with a sunken chest. As a child, I wasn't allowed to play sports. I had a major surgery, and I couldn't participate in a lot of things. There was more things I couldn't do than I could. Fortunately, my parents were into the outdoors. They went to archery. My mother bow hunted. My father bow hunted. They're in the archery business. So when I was four years old, I started shooting. And by the time I was 18, I went professional. But you had a gift that a lot of people don't have, even though you had that that issue with your chest, your eyesight. My, I'm 46 years old and my eyes are still measuring 20 over 8. So, Which is incredible. Uh, wow. I can see flaws in my wife's so you're, engagement ring. No, you're looking ring. at my wrinkles. When, Don't no, look no, at my no, wrinkles. No, you know, you know it's, enga <laughs> it's engagement ring. When I, when I picked out Amanda's diamond, me? I could see flaws with my naked eye that the jeweler was using a 10X. That's incredible. And that's the one day I wish I'd have had worse eyes because, <laughs> because <laughs> I can't. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, I tell kids in the audiences, uh, God gives us all talent. You gotta find your talent. Don't focus on the handicap or the disability. Focus on your talent. That's great. And this weekend at Cabela's, I'll be out there all weekend encouraging families to spend time together. Unplug from the TV a little bit mm -hmm. after your newscast. We're I mean, fine. Right. Uh, uh, turn the TV off, turn the computer off, turn the video game off. Get outside, sit around a campfire together, talk to each other, have, right. a, have a meal together, go camping, go hiking, go fishing. I was fortunate to have three channels as a child. After noon, they were all sub, uh, soap operas. <laughs> so out, outside, but, but today's kids don't go out as much. Right. right. And, and hopefully this weekend will inspire the kids to get outside and try our tree and do some cool things uh, with their family. What will you be showing them at Cabela's this well, weekend? Well, we'll do about 20 minutes of exhibition shooting. I'll do six arrows at once. I'll do two balloons at once. I'll do things out of the midair, mid all behind the back. And my signature <sighs> shot is a bear baby aspirin. So you're not even just, you're not doing the tradition, you're doing it behind the back. I was the first person in the world to do uh, a behind the back shot on a baby aspirin. Wow. wow. But it just, uh, you know, it, to me it was easy. It was show us, show us, show us. Right. I'll do a few give shots. Us a little, give us a little trick here. I'll do a couple nice. teaser shots Dying for to you. see this. Okay. So, so instead of drawing the bow like this, uh -huh. I'll go behind the back. <laughs> nice. And do that. Yeah, those are sharp. And then we'll do uh, <laughs> Who's the poor guinea pig from uh -oh. Cabela's that yeah. <laughs> show up? <laughs> oh, we got two. Wow. Now I got one more here. We, uh, and you tour around the country doing these shows, right, Frank? I do. You know, Tavern on the Green in New York City, Long Beach, California. I think I've been in 42 states. That's great. Wow. So, yeah. What else are you going to show us? Yeah, what else, can you, what else are you going to hit? Well, here? let me get some more arrows. And I'll, we can go from... You want me to try two balloons, one arrow? Yeah, no, no I just, just mesmerize us. I was going to say, yeah. We have a net system. You know, if you were out at the store, we have our big net up and things will be thrown. Okay. And we even go down now to an 81 milligram aspirin and a mustard seed. A oh. mustard seed? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'd hold the pink one in front of the red one. Yeah, why don't I'll you try just to, do I'll that? Try to hit the, <laughs> I'll try to hit the small one and then pop the Dennis, big one. how you feeling over there? Yeah. <laughs> wow, oh, there it is. And nice. then we got one small one. Let's pop it. And he's okay. got the pills. He can show you the pills. Unbelievable. And all behind the back. Yeah, nothing to it. So nothing I know you built it. up to do the aspirin aspect of it. How do you get to a point where you can actually visually see? I mean, I know your eyesight is incredible, but just the, 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 the fit, it just seems it's, amazing. It's goal setting. Quarterback on a football team starts throwing short passes when he's a little more confident. He'll Instinctive ability is something we're born with. Yeah. You just develop it. Uh, the, the baby aspirin that he's holding is, You're is he going to hold those. it in his hand? <laughs> well, no, but th this weekend, that'll literally You're gonna be You're going to want those a little bit. But I started out, you know, obviously with a frisbee size target. When I could hit those, and I went smaller, smaller. And then I had buddies that dipped tobacco, and I would take their skull cans, yeah. and I would shoot those. And sure. then when I could hit that, I went to Lifesaver. It's just like life, goal just setting. And uh, I kept challenging myself. And the mustard seed, uh, we referenced Matthew 17, 20, faith is a grain of mustard. And mm -hmm. Shoot it, and uh, it's pretty cool. I, I mean, love it. And you're gonna, are you gonna, are we doing the, the aspirins? I, no? I have to have the net system. I can't do it for you, but I'd love to. Maybe next time I'm in town next year, maybe we could bring the net and actually do it for you. I love it. Well, that's amazing. Do you have videos posted? I mean, just showing some of this stuff? We, we, they're rebuilding my website right now. We had a great video, but I'm in the wrong town to talk about it. No. It was at the University of Texas with Coach, oh, no. Coach, okay. Coach, Coach Mac Brown. So oh, yeah, you are. Give me that bow. <laughs>
going to try it? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, we don't, we don't talk anything but Buckeyes. Or well, you know, we just went to the stadium. It's beautiful. Yeah, I love it. it's fun. Well, I'll show you this. I want to see how is, heavy this is. This is an Olympic-style bow. Wow. Um, retail value about 1500 bucks. Is that right? And had the American Indians had these, we'd all still be in Europe somewhere. Uh, Notice the engineering. Yeah, and the, it's gorgeous. It's just state-of-the-art. Hey, Dennis, grab one of those balloons for me, buddy. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. This is great. I, tell everybody what times you're going to be at Cabela's. In. Okay, we're uh, on Saturday. We're doing uh, eleven and two, mm -hmm. and Sunday noon and two. Noon okay. and two. So okay. two performances a day. And the kids. What we're going to tell the kids? All of us have talent. They may not do the aspirin thing, but they have a talent. Even with a disability, they have a gift. Find their gift and contribute. Be drug free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spend time with mom and dad and grandpa and grandma outdoors. You can pause those video games, but you can't pause mom and dad and and. You can't pause grandpa and grandma. And nobody's going to get to be an old man <laughs> and say, man, I remember the time I got 2,000 points on that video game. But you will remember catching that first fish with your grandpa or spending time with your grandma. My, my mom bear hunts. So Love the message. I had grandmas too. That's great. Love great the message, message. Frank. Thank Pleasure you. to have you. God bless you. Yeah, nice Thank to meet you. So Appreciate you all for having me. Oh, our pleasure. Come out oh. and see us this weekend. All right, we will. Thank you.